Welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at a math tournament practice question. The question itself is a series of square roots embedded within one another and it looks very confusing. So I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and begin. Within this question, we have a series of number starting from 99 going down to 98, 97, 96, 94 and 4 ones at the back. These numbers are contained within a series of 4 square roots. And in order to discuss the question properly and for easier reference, I decided to use color to mark each of the square root. Let's start with the green square root. I have 96 multiplied by 94 plus 1 and the whole thing is contained within a square root. I can rewrite this in terms of 95, meaning I will have a square root of 95 plus 1 multiplied by 95 minus 1 followed by the original plus 1 in the back. So if we look at this part right here, I can make use of the formula of a plus b multiplied by a minus b which is equal to a square minus b square. In other words, I can rewrite this expression as 95 square minus 1 square plus 1 and the whole thing is contained within the green color square root. If I do that, then the minus 1 square and the plus 1 will cancel each other and the square and the square root will cancel each other. So in other words, what I'm left with is 95. Now I have established the green color part to be equal to 95. Let's go ahead and deal with our yellow square root. Let me change the color of my pen. Now what I have is 97 multiplied by 95 plus 1. Whole thing is within a square root. Again, I can easily convert that to the middle number, which is 96. Meaning now I have 96 plus 1, 96 minus 1 plus 1. Again, using the same identity on the difference of squares, I can, do, I can write that as 96 square minus 1 square plus 1, which is then equal to 96. In other words, in other words, my yellow square root is equal to 96. I hope you are seeing the pattern here, but let's go ahead and go through the entire series. Let me clean up my mess here. Now we are now focusing on the blue square root. The blue square root will now be 98 multiplied by 96 plus 1 which is written as 97 plus 1 97 minus 1 plus 1 which is then the same thing 97 square minus 1 square plus 1 which is equal to 97 Finally, let's move on to our final square root, which is the red color one. And of course, the red color square root will be equal to 99 multiplied by 97 plus 1 contained within the square root. We're doing the same thing here. It will be equal to 98 plus 1, 98 minus 1 plus 1. And that is, of course, equal to 98 square minus 1 square plus 1 and that's equal to 98. That's the final answer to our question. This question itself is not very challenging and the key to it is just to be able to see through the pattern. If you can do that, then I think you can easily solve it within 20 seconds. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Have a good day. Goodbye.